All right, Jim. Well, let's get another question here. Speaking of saggy bags, this next one was sent to corny drive through at gmail.com from Mike Kuzmuck. And he sent a what? link. Wait, what? Mike Kuzmuck. Mike Kuzmuck. What's your problem? Mike Kuzmuck. <laughs> How do you spell that? K U Z M U K. Kuzmuck. That's what I said. Well, Mr. He's Kuzmuck. He's around down in the Kuzmuck. Mr. Kuzmuck has a question related to a interview recently. He sent a link here. Jim, have you seen any quotes from a recent appearance by Josh Barnett on Sean Waltman's new show, Pro Wrestling for Life? Actually, I, what I heard, I did not read the comments, but I heard that he was talking about, if the same one I'm thinking about, that uh, the the young bucks don't like him. That is correct. So you okay. didn't. Read the well, quotes. then I would love to hear the comments because I I lost it before I had a chance to go and and read it. Okay, here are the quotes. And once again, this is from Sean Waltman's show, Pro Wrestling for Life. Asked about his friction with the young bucks. Quote: I don't know what their deal is. <laughs> I don't know who riled them up into thinking that me and Jr. were burying them all the time because we weren't. One of the things that I think was a problem is they wanted to be cool, but I'm like, you're heels. You're constantly cheating and breaking the rules and doing heel stuff. So we're going to say you're despicable. We're going to say you're terrible and horrible and you're bad people. We didn't say that you sucked. We just said that you're bad guys because that was your job. Your job was to be the bad guys. But it seems like no one wants to be an actual heel anymore. Everyone wants to be the cool anti-hero or cool bad guy. They want to sell all their merch. <clears throat> no, I'm sorry. If you're a heel, be a heel. Stop trying to worry about whether the fans like you or not. You have a role to fill here. And if you want to run around telling people to suck it, then people should want to see you get your teeth kicked in. <laughs> that's just the way it is. And nobody wants to be a heel. And that's a problem. And somebody riled up the bucks. I don't know how. Whatever. They used to get into Twitter fights constantly anyways. <laughs> I never actually had a discussion with them, and yet I would constantly cover for them in their matches. They go to hit their Meltzer driver. They do all this crazy stuff that just gets them a two count. My thoughts are, well, I don't want this to seem like it was shit, or it was weak, or it was just a hope spot, or it's just getting their shit in. I don't want people to view that. I want to say, well, okay, you could see that Matt, when he came off the ropes, he didn't get his feet all the way on the help of that pile driver. I don't want to belittle what they're doing. I want them to feel okay. If they hit it perfectly, the match is over. But they're tired. It's tough. People are sweaty. Things are happening. The dude's in the air flipping to give his assisted tombstone. Okay, a lot of things can happen, can miss. And you get guys that always got to knock a dude out of the ring. They always got to flip over it. Okay, fine. Regardless if this happens at every match leading up to this, but whatever. I'm not agenting things. I'm only dealing with what's on television. So even then, I want to be like, oh, you can see in the slow-mo he only caught a piece of him, and that maybe that even caused him some injury too. I was always trying to find a way to say that nobody here is weak, nobody sucks. This is just what happens when you go to war, when you're in combat, Things don't always work out how you want them to. You hit a 450 and boom, but you don't get the three count. Maybe he just didn't have the leg hooked enough. It's not that you aren't capable. It's just one little thing, and that's how close the margin should be between these competitors. So there's some of Josh Barnett's thoughts on the Young Bucks, and overall, just a great look at how you should do commentary in wrestling. I give it again. Jesus Christ, and a guy that's not even been in our business, made little guest appearances, gets it better than these fucking clowns that are supposedly in it for 20 years. Yes, you're not criticizing a guy saying he sucks when, when you have to. An announcer having to explain the inexplicable is the worst feeling to an announcer in the world, right? When, when there's shit going on, you're just like, oh, fuck, there's no way I can possibly make this believable. But in matches where the, I can see where Josh Barnett is rightfully 
looking at this from a sports presentation, because that's what it's supposed to be, especially in Japan. And he's trying to come up with a reason why these guys are hitting all these moves, but they're not winning anything. Well, I mean, he didn't get all of it. You know, it can be just that close. Boom. It's, he's viewing this like a sport because he comes from a sports background and a fighting background. And that's exactly the way that you should view wrestling in your public performances or pronouncements, just like it's legitimate, like it's a sport. You understand that it's not. You're smart enough to understand the psychology of the thing, but you treat it to for the public like it is. And you explain, well, he... You know, he might not have been able to kick out of that if he'd have got all of it, just like Barnett was saying, but he, you know, was just off balance. It can be just that close. Anything can happen. If he hits that right, the guy's toast, whatever. He's trying to basically make excuses for, uh, clean up some of the young bucks' goofiness, and they think he's knocking them because they are so far away from what this in mentally from what this business ought to be and the way it ought to be viewed and presented that they think that he's knocking them when he's actually trying to clean up after their mess. So yeah, I can, I can see that. And it, apparently with these two little fucking brats, brats, everything in their heads revolves around them because an announcer just saying innocuous shit about, he's trying to sabotage them so they won't sell their merchandise. Or, you know, everybody that that has any criticism of them whatsoever, ah, it's obviously fucking crazy, because we're the greatest. Or they they somehow inflate their own image or self-worth or desirability in their heads. Like when I'm being a smart ass, walk by, hey, Bucks, we got the only angle of wrestling people believe, and walk out. Suddenly, I want to go on tour with them for months <laughs> and work this angle. So just make it, you know, it was actually guys, somebody can just make a smart ass comment to y'all every once in a while, but see, that's, they don't understand that kind of shit. They can't accept the criticism of their goofiness because they deep down, they know that they're goofy and they know that their goofiness is the only way that they can get over because they can't do it based on anything else because the way they look and the way they act, but goofiness works for them. It just makes everybody else look bad. They can't accept that other people just can't get on board with the, the, this whole, they're the greatest tag team in the world thing. And if, if somebody does make, try to do some kind of legitimate pro wrestling presentation around them, they're offended by it. That's why they have to have their handpicked referee because he's the most dickless, feckless, useless, milk sop of a wet dish rag that's ever worn stripes and that's what they need to have their match because they can't do it right so everybody's got to play along with their shit or elsewise they pout and they fucking rip pubic hair off their faces and pitch a tantrum pussies actually i don't think they've seen many of those i'm pretty sure they married the first one they saw but anyway, well, that would have been each other then. Can brothers <laughs> in California? <laughs> you're on a roll again? today. You are again. on a roll today. You're doing good today. Well, hey, kick me off the internet for a couple days. See what happens.